Welcome back. The Black Panther Party represented black power and black nationalism, socialism, and action against police brutality. It was often seen as a male-dominated movement, but a lesser-known fact, the membership was made up primarily of women. A new exhibit is open at the Museum of Fine Arts, highlighting the role of the Comrade Sisters of the Black Panther Party. It's a collection of more than two dozen photographs that document their work at schools, in elder care, and in community nutrition programs. Joining me now is Karen Haas. She's the Lane Senior Curator of Photographs at the MFA. Hi, Karen. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So um, let's start with this. Um, tell us about the story of the Comrade Sisters. It's a really interesting story, and it begins with a young photographer who was actually born and raised in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Stephen Shames, who goes to Berkeley at the age of 20, meets Bobby Seale and Huey Newton, and is invited to uh, become the sort of official photographer for the party for a number of years and befriended by Bobby Seal, he finds himself focusing on a lot of the different programs that they're working on, in many cases, programs run by women. And that's really what the focus of this exhibition and his photographs in this show at the Museum of Fine Arts is. Now we know women did play a prominent role in the civil rights movement. We think about Rosa Parks, uh, Fannie Lou Hamer, but of course they did not always receive the credit. Uh, speak more about the contributions that these women made. Yes, so the amazing thing about this group of pictures is it really focuses on some of the very groundbreaking programs that these women developed and promoted and worked in. Many of these programs that still exist today because they are so important, have turned out to be so important. Things that we think of as happening more recently, like, um, you know, free school uh, lunch. School lunch. Mm -hmm. All of these things were mm -hmm. begun during this period, and these were the women who carried out this work, often really out of the out of the limelight and not so recognized at the time. Now, photojournalist uh, Stephen Shames was the Black Panther's official photographer, as you've said. Is it common for a movement like the Black Panther Party to have had its own photographer document uh, their everyday work? The Black Panthers were very savvy about publicity. They had their own newspaper, as you know, and this was something they were very good at and seemed to be very, uh, you know, have, have done this very early on. And these photographs are incredibly powerful uh, images of these of the projects that these women were now working shames on. photograph members from 1965 to 1973 how were these photos chosen for the exhibit and what made them stand out for you well, these works are 27 works from a much larger group that were recently given to the museum by local collectors, Lisbeth and George Krupp. So we're thrilled with the gift, and that's what we're celebrating this exhibition. It was very hard to choose the work that we put into the show, and it's a very small slice. But I wanted to represent all the different types of work that uh, were being carried out by these women. And many of them are unknown and, and you know not named, but you will also see famous figures like Erica Huggins and C Kathleen Cleaver amongst the group. Um, Karen, how can art be a form of activism? And, and if you would, just comment on how you think Shames has influenced movements in general through his photography. Well, Shames has had a career that has gone on for more than 50 years, and his focus has often been on social justice and these sorts of uh, uh, groups, the work of groups like the Black Panthers. But this was a period when he was, he was only 20 years old. He was a student at Berkeley. This was an amazing thing to have been doing so early on. He saw himself as a recorder, uh, as someone keeping track and taking notes in a sense, the visual notes of what was happening. And we're just thrilled that many of these pictures were never printed during his lifetime, but have been printed and now gifted to the Museum of Fine Arts, where they will not only be shown in exhibitions like this one, but can be seen by uh, the public in our study room. Let me ask you personally, as you were going through the photographs as a woman, how did it make you feel? What did you think when you saw these? I was incredibly uh, moved by the pictures, really struck by how dignified and how um, beautiful these images are of these, of in many cases unknown people, um, and really the sense that there was so much trust and um, 
ease with the the subject and the photographer that he respected them and they understood that he was there very much supporting their mm -hmm. um, message I can't wait to see it it's really a wonderful show thank you all right Karen Haas is the Lane senior curator of photographs at the MFA we want to thank you for joining us the comrade sisters women of the Black Panther Party is is open at the MFA through June 24th now maybe you can see it tomorrow the MFA will hold its annual free open house tomorrow in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. There will be performances, tours, art making activities. The open house is from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tickets are available in person on a first come first serve basis.